Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today, we continue talking about the Harlequins as we finish up the Harlequin masks. Um, so, if you guys have any suggestions for any other topics of Warhammer 40K that you guys would like us to create a video for, don't forget that you can comment down below and give us that request. We read those comments pretty much every single day. Uh, with that said, let's get into 40 Facts About the Harlequins. There are those among the Eldar who have accepted the doom of their race. Far from welcoming oblivion, these lost souls rage against the slow destruction of their people, choosing to take the galaxy with them when they go. The Mask of the Shattered Mirage are ghosts of the Webway, the embodiment of the Laughing God's molded mirth in the face of his race's demise. Both their kin and their enemies fear the Mask's players. Their performances are dark and terrible to behold conveying only fatalistic despair to their audience. In battle, they fight with a reckless abandon that is horrific to bear witness to, and even in death, they take dozens of their foes screaming with them to the grave. To fight the shattered mirage is to fight a foe with no fear of death, intent only on the destruction of their enemies no matter the cost. The rune of the lamented dead is integral to the mindset of the mask of the shattered mirage. Contained with its graceful lines and bladed curves is the ultimate demise of all things. The Mask of the Silent Shroud acts in absolute silence. Its players speak not a word. Their movements are but the softest sight of silk upon the air. Even their weapons are muffled through technology and illusion, the hiss of gunfire and the clash of blades echoing dimly as though piercing the veil from another realm. Needless to say, this disorients and unsettles the Mask's foes only adding to the sensory confusion of the Harlequin's assault. Everything this mask does is veiled in secrecy and stealth, and it often appears from nowhere to stage impromptu performances without the need of stages or accommodations. Whether this be amid the blade spires of Kamara or the blood and horror of the battlefield, it matters not to the Silent Shroud. The Silent Shroud wears the rune of the thorn-strangled stave, a mystical weapon used by Coronus the hunting god of the ancient Eldar myth that used it to strike down his prey without making a sound. The Mask of the Twisted Path are some of the most sinister of all Harlequins, luring friends and foe into the webway, never to be seen again. They are also some of the most well-traveled of all Eldar and have been seen fighting alongside humans, Tau, and even orcs, though to what end remains a mystery, for those that question their motives invariably disappear soon after. The Twisted Path have a strange affinity with Craftworld Telenar, and have often been seen performing there. Curiously, no one has ever disappeared from the Craftworld following a performance, though whether the inhabitants are cursed, blessed, or simply not of interest to the Harlequins of the Twisted Path is unknown. Unsurprisingly, no one has stopped them to ask. Players in the Mask of the Twisted Path were a bright ensemble made up of reds, oranges, and purples. The Mask of the Twisted Mask wear the runes of the Stolen Grace, symbolizing the souls taken by the Laughing God from his enemies and fashioning into weapons for his followers. Harlequins of the Veiled Path are merciless tricksters who cruelly exploit other races to achieve their aim, fidgeting alliances when in truth they care for none but their own. Master manipulators, the Mask of the Veiled Path, achieved their aims by any means necessary. It was they who caused Prince Uriel of Yenden to take up the Spear of Twilight. This baleful weapon has a heavy curse upon it, and once removed from its stasis chamber within the Shrine of Ulthanash, it cannot be set aside before death. When Uriel fought the Tyranids of High Fleet Kraken, he bested several of the Hivemind's greatest warriors in personal combat but many have questioned why a great noble of such status would draw a weapon that will claim his life. The answer to this lie is with the Mask of the Veiled Path, who manipulated him into the fateful duty. For whatever reason, they will not say. Even after the tragedy which befell the craft world and the sorrow it caused, the Eldar of Yondin do not hesitate to answer this call to arm, providing legions of automatons to march into war alongside the Veiled Path. The Veiled Path Rune is an inverse enigma, a signifier of riddles within riddles and plots within plots. It is associated with not only trickery, but with backstabbing and an ill-omen demise. The Mask of the Winter Sun 
is one of the smallest Harlequin groups that guards the webway. While most Harlequin masks are willing to ignore the animosity between their divergent kin, the Winter Sun have not performed for or fought with the Dark Eldar for many millennia. Quite why is unclear, but their signature dance, the Broken Chalice, is a tale of treachery and a hint at an ancient slight by their dark cousins. The Mask of the Winter Sun were most recently seen alongside forces from Craftworld Maimiara and Craftworld Alitok, fighting in the Maiden Vale, known to Imperial records as the Carina Nebula. On Betalus III, their hollow suits made them virtually invisible in a never-ending blizzard that dominated the Torminus Delta, enabling them to quickly bypass the Imperial defense lines. Only the intervention of Bran Redmaw's Great Company saved the Imperial Guard stationed there from certain death. The Mask of the Winter Sun are painted in a complementary color scheme of blue and orange with details picked out in black and white. Players of the Mask of the Winter Sun wear the Eldar Rune of Unseen Mysteries, a combination of two Eldar runes. At the top can be seen the Rune of Enigmas, which is followed by the Rune of the Seer, its eyes missing to signify the blindness of ignorance. And those were 40 facts about the Harlequin Masks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's going to be a part 4, I believe this is, in the series of more Harlequin lore. Um, but comment down below, let me know what specifically about the Harlequins you want to know. Um, so that we can create a video for that. Don't forget to put suggestion followed by whatever your Harlequin request is. And another, another big favor, can you guys please make the suggestion of what type of... Um, uh, Xenos race lore you guys would like us to cr uh, create a video for so put that request down in the comments below uh, not that many people are requesting uh, lore on Xenos everybody loves the space marines everybody loves the imperial guard but where's the love for the Xenos races so come on are you um, I mean it's pretty tough because it's just like Eldar well you got orcs tau uh, tyranids so just comment down below let me know what you guys want um, and with that said we have a special message to announce the winners what is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist here with Gersh1 and we're here to announce the winners of the giveaway the subscriber appreciation giveaway week. So first let's start off with Drop Pod. Drop Pod. And the winner for that is <laughs> And then the next one is Got the Almighty Land Raider. Land Raider winner is And then we've got a Rhino. Rhino winner right there and then the awesome amazing centurions so that person <laughs> and finally bum, 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 the triumphant pack you got Gilliman uh, I believe his name is Voldis and then you got Cypher winner is so it is very important for the winners now to contact us. Simply um, email us at onemindsyndicate, the number one at gmail.com. You can special message or private message us here on YouTube. YouTube. Hit us up on Facebook. Um, or even Instagram. You can private message us on Instagram. Any one of those ways to contact us. Uh, give us your address uh, where we can ship your awesome prize to. And again, guys, thank you so much for participating. We're going to have another giveaway pretty soon. Uh, we're trying to do giveaways every single month. Um, Xenos races are going to be the next giveaway. So comment down below. Let me know what Xenos army you guys would like to uh, start collecting or you already collect and you would want prizes for it. Yeah. That's all we've got for you guys this time. Thank you guys for being awesome subscribers. Thanks for getting us to over 50,000. Here's to 50,000 more. And that's all we've got. Again, guys, thank you so much for participating. Uh, another giveaway is coming very soon. Um, so subscribe to the channel to continue to win awesome things. And if you want to support us, if you want to help us create more videos and you want to help us uh, give you guys more giveaways, please jump on over to Patreon. It's a simple dollar a month. And with that dollar, um, it helps us create more videos. Thanks for everything, guys. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. Oh, <laughs>